whole lot of um, stuff out there we need to let go of. A whole lot. But it's very hard to be honest with yourself as to what really needs to be let go of. Certain things are easy. Lots of things are easy. The things you don't like are easy to let go of. Right? But then there's the things you don't like yet you depend on. That's one of the hardest places to be honest. So that's where blame goes, right? That's when it's suddenly someone else's fault for the way you feel. That's when it becomes their fault. It's not. But that's, that's, that's where we've gone with it. So, to be honest about what is really, really holding us back. If we have felt that presence, which I'm pretty sure everybody in here has, <clears throat> what do you let go of it for? Can you not walk with that? Can't you hunt with that? Can't you love with that? We've all been in that state. Just completely blown away. Very open, feeling intense amounts of love. What takes you from that? And we'll say, well, my job does. Or, you know, we'll start coming up with all kinds of ideas. Spit them out, and we'll spit them out, and we'll spit them out. Everything we've spit out is not the reason. It is not, it is not, it really has nothing to do with being honest. It's when all the words stop. And there you feel within the resistance to be that opened, awakened, aware, potent, very, very, very dead on being. Dead on. Never misses. That's what I've struggled to be my whole life. I didn't want to be haphazardly going through this life. No way. This is way too dangerous of a place to do that. It is. It's way too dangerous. And it was before we made it even more dangerous than it was already. Now we've just increased the level of danger. That's it. That's what humans have done. And they need to admit to that, absolutely. We've increased the level of danger to the point where, whoa, you really have to be aware at every moment. And it's going to probably get pushed there. Which, you know, really is, is it's, the, it's a great place because the real you comes out. When, when your person that you built throughout your life, your identity, when that basically has no, nothing to attach itself to anymore, <clears throat> the real being is all that's left. Because when that thing had no longer has any juice flowing into it, it drops. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The way you present yourself, the way you dress, car, all that stuff that people use to enforce the image they're putting off. That gets laid to waste, there's going to be a huge tremor there within the, the, on the emotional field of human beings. Huge tremor. Because they're going to realize at that moment, or a good chunk of them will, how duped they've allowed themselves to be. Not that they've been lied to, but that they've been buying into this. This idea that what you amass around you and what you present to other people is indestructible or is even real. It's never questioned. It's taboo to talk about in our society. But it's not real. There's very few people who are being real. They're all um, actors. They're all carrying out particular roles. Most of them sold to them by television, whether they believe it or not. Be more like this person. Be more like this group of people I saw on this show. I mean, the way the clicks are just 
it seems like they're they're kind of evolving. And they're taking on rigid structure where now it's this group against this group against this group. I mean, religion did that. It got so enamored of itself that it suddenly became a separate entity, not part of the flow, not part of the human soul, standing outside of it. We're, we're in a mess. <laughs> We are. We're in a big mess. But if we were honest, we'd look inside and say, that's where the mess is. Right? Because the mess is spilling out from us. Right? What, what, what gets laid down on this planet? We're doing that. We're spilling that out. But convince people of that. How do you convince people that that's how it's happening? You, no individual can convince anyone of that. But the universe itself can. And not only can it convince you of it, it can remove uh, all the ignorance you've built up over the years to keep that, that huge wave from crashing on you. It can erase that in a moment. And, and there is where we'll find out who's who. Is that moment. Because everyone can talk. Everyone can sell a, a bridge to nowhere. Anyone can sell anything. <clears throat> but reality can't be bought or sold, nor can it be manipulated. The universe cannot be manipulated. You know, it's, people ask me if I believe in God. I say, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's separate from me. How could I believe in it? I don't feel it. How can I believe in it? So what, you're, you're an atheist? No. No. I'm a child of the living universe. It's alive. Right? And when the more I want it, the more I have to let go of. And the more I have to let go of, ooh, the harder it gets. But then I ask myself, do I honestly want this? Do I honestly want freedom? Do I honestly want out of this cage? Well, yeah. So, I have to do it differently. And that honesty is so hard. Because when you start moving along, and you start feeling, oh, you got to give this up. <laughs> this is like, this thing that helped you all through your life, it was your friend. Whatever behavior it is, a thought, it could be absolutely anything. It's whatever you've had a real strong affinity for to keep you safe in the world. It becomes a hindrance. Right? It was something that along the <clears throat> planes that were gradually going up, you could carry it. It's very nice. It's there for you. It's your protector. It keeps you safe. But suddenly, you start going up the incline. And after a while, this very thing that was keeping you safe, you're now looking at it knowing you got to drop it if you're going to go any further. And the funny thing about the path of, of waking up when you do it, you can't stop. And when you do, you'll know you have. And when you know you have, you're in trouble. You are in some serious trouble. Because there is no going back to distraction. There is no going back to ignorance. There is no going back to sleep for you. And if it is, it will be like insomnia. You can't actually get it out of you. Right? So it's it's one of those things that once you pick it up, once you pick up your own soul off the ground, put it back, dust it off, and decide you're going to uh, live with this thing in a very integral way. Oh, ho, ho, that changes everything. But it, whether or not anyone's honestly done it, that's they're up to them, isn't it? Whether they've actually dove into that pit, which is in their mind. I mean, really, gone through and cleaned house. You know, there's a lot of people who've cleaned house. 